CTV, the show that's all about you writing great stories. I'm your host, Alex, and I am so pumped right now because I just won. Oh, oops. Uh, it's my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek. <laughs> Alex, it's me, Richard McGillipuddy, CEO of You Done Did It. Who? From episode two, I threw you a party. You gave a speech? Oh, yeah, I think. The point is, I'm a huge fan of SPTV. Ooh, I love my fans. And I'm holding a brand new contest. Ooh, I love contests. And I want you to enter and win. Well, 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 McGillipuddy. You want a winner? You got one. Coming right up, medium rare, with a side of winning fries. Me, Alex. I'll be the winner. Okay, so back to the contest. I read all the fine print, and here's what it says. You Done Did It presents You, you done, done Found, found it. it, a contest where the person who finds the coolest thing in the weirdest way wins. Some restrictions apply, all rights reserved, few elephants implied, large restaurants, and three queen bananas required. And signed! Ha-ha! <laughs> Time to win this contest. I guess I have to find something really cool. Well, I figure that out. Why don't you watch this first story written by a real kid? Citizens of America, I am a disco dancer, but also, I love politics, so I want to be your president. Ooh, oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. However, I know that disco is outdated, so if you don't vote for me, I'll understand. Disco dancer, if you don't think people will vote for you, why are you running for president? The answer is simple. My friend Larry the Lemur said I should. I believe in you. Thanks, Larry. Any more questions? No, that makes perfect sense. Crystal clear. Thank you for being so vulnerable. Great, then I'll see you at the debate. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to the debate. We'll start with opening statements. Disco dancer, please tell us why you should be president of the United States. The answer is simple. Great. And I will explain it through dance. Oh, he's in yes. dance. Well, folks, it's time for our closing statements. Disco Dancer, anything more you'd like to add? Thank you, moderator. Tonight, we heard Senator Bradford speak from the heart about health care. You betcha. We heard Representative Collins discuss taxes. Oh, but I, I made everyone laugh with my disco dancing. Remember that when placing your vote. Thank you, candidates. We will see you all after the vote. Well, the votes are in, and our new president is... Dum Dum Dum! President Disco! They like me. They really like me. My first action as president is to start a nationwide disco party. <laughs> So, President Disco, what's your stance on the economy? Disco! We love it! Well, I'm ready to win this contest and find something really cool. But what? Oh, I know! I'll use my binoculars! Look! There in the distance, on top of that giant mountain. I bet that sparkly thing is really cool. If I can get my hands on it, I'm sure to win. And look, to get it, I just need to cross that desert. Oh, 
uh, and make it through that jungle and somehow get over that huge chasm. Oh, and somehow avoid that squirrel pool party. Alex, I heard that. Oh, uh, because it would be so fun, I would never want to leave. To the mountain! Gah! No hands! Uh-oh. Ah! It's a leap of faith! Yeah. Believe in yourself. Good thing I brought my trampoline. Finally, I'm almost there. Whatever it is, I can see it sparkling up there at the top of the mountain. I did it. I had a weird time getting here, but now I have it. The cool thing at the top of the mountain. Now time to see just how cool it is. Ha! Tinfoil. I just did that whole quest for a measly piece of tinfoil? No! Well, I scream no. Why don't you watch another video? No! Hi, creators. I'm Lindsay, and welcome to Story Pirates University. Some adventure stories have a character going on a long and difficult journey to find a specific object. That journey is called a quest, and the item that they're trying to find is called the quest object. Today, we're going to be creating a quest object for an adventure story of our very own. I am on a quest to seek out the most glorious and sought after object in all the land, a cup. A cup? A quest object needs to be more special than just a cup. It needs cool details that help it stand apart from every other cup. It also needs to have something incredibly special about it. Something so special that it would make you go on a long and difficult journey just to find it. Yes, of course. Perhaps this cup is bejeweled and it glows and it has the ability to instantly brew any potion you need. Wow, that is a quest object. What do you call it? Brace yourself, Lindsay. A cup. Okay, it's looking really important, but it's not sounding really important. I think what you need is a name that's a proper noun. Now we all know that a noun is a word for a person, a place, or a thing. A cup is a noun. Yes, but a proper noun is when that person, place, or thing has a specific name to show that it's this specific cup. Maybe something like the cup of a fiery awesomeness. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And just like your name, Andrew, starts with a capital letter, all of the important words in a proper noun also start with a capital letter. Ah, like cup, fiery, and awesomeness. Yeah, like those. And the little words in a proper noun, like the and of, don't usually need to be capitalized. But make sure you capitalize all of the main words. That way, the reader knows that those words are important. This quest object is too special not to find. Come along, everlasting fanny pack. Stay close to my feet. Comfy socks of ultimate ankle support. Andrew's epic and fabulous adventure awaits. Happy adventuring. Bye. Well, I guess I'll never win the contest now. I was supposed to find a cool thing, and all I found was this measly piece of tinfoil. It doesn't even have a cool name. Wait a second. <gasps> That's it! I can take this piece of tinfoil and make it cool. First, I can give it some cool details. There! I folded it into a tiny metal squirrel that sparkles in the sun! Tinfoil Squirrel, I dub thee Alex's mom's mystical metal squirrel of the blazing sun. Believe in yourself. You know, now that I have this, I don't even need to win that contest. The journey was my reward. Oh, 
It's Richard McGillipuddy. Sorry, Richard, I'm sending you to voicemail. And buddy, I never check my voicemail. <laughs> Story Pirates presents Kids Create Heroes. Featuring today's guest, a third grader from Rockdale Elementary, Mary. And the hero Mary created, Peach Fan 2031. And now, your Story Pirate host, Mary. <laughs> yeah! All right, guys. We're going to bring out our first guest. Please put your hands together for the lovely and talented Mary. So good to see you. I wanted to ask you about a hero that you created from your own imagination. What is this hero's name? Peach Fan 2031. Now, what is Peach Fan 2031? She is a penguin. Uh huh. And island at the North Pole. Now, is she a penguin 100% of the time? Only on the island. Oh. And what is she when she's off the island? Human. She's a human. Mm -hmm. Cool, great. What are some things about Peach Fan 2031's personality? What's she like? She's super nice to everyone. Mm -hmm. And when you make her mad, she'll get scary. Well, she sounds really cool. You actually, you drew a picture of her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peach Fan 2031. Now, I have some crazy news for you. Are yeah. you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Please put your hands together for Peach Fan 231. Here she is. Peach Fan 231, thank you so much for being here. Oh, yeah, no problem, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hi. 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 Mary, how is it meeting Peach Fan 231? I'm like super excited. Now, I want to know. What is a strength that Peach Fan 2031 has? Mind controlling. Mind controlling? Ooh, that sounds scary. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mary. Uh huh. Do you want to act like a chicken? <laughs> I mind controlled her to stop a while ago, so I think that that's just, just on Mary. Um, sometimes I do pretend I'm a chicken when I'm alone. Uh, so yes, yeah, so she does mind control. Clearly, she does it really well. Bob. Bob? Who's Bob? Oh, uh, please don't talk about that guy, Mary. Please, Bob. <laughs> that robot. Uh, Bob the robot? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Okay, I'm on nervous, and now I'm starting to get angry, and, uh... uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. I'm like a really scary little I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mary, you were so right. When she gets angry, it's really scary. Yep. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Mary. Mary, thank, thank you for creating you. me. I'm off to find that robot, Bob. Goodbye. <laughs> Tune in next time for another episode of Kids Create Heroes. Now it's your turn to write a story. Before we go, here's today's story spark. Kids, create your own quest object. Then, write a story about a character from your imagination who goes on a quest to get it. Don't forget, at Story Pirates, you always have permission to get weird. And grown-ups can download a lesson plan about today's episode and submit stories at storypirateschangemakers.org slash sptv. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, stay creative and stay kind. Ah, good game. I let them win. No, I swear.